Welcome to the channel. And so our favorite out of stock company has a customer questions and answers section for all their products. And I usually like to read through it because I can get a laugh or two out of it. I want to share it with you guys today, but I really feel the need to put a disclaimer in this. With people needing safe spaces and things today, I don't want to offend anyone. This is all for just for good fun. And I'm not really worried about my subscribers so much. I'm more worried about who will see this video in the future and get offended and want to leave comments. I don't mean the video for that. It's literally just good fun. And as proof of that, I'm going to tell you one of my embarrassing moments at the end of this video. Alright, let's get started. The first product up, Palmetto State Armory's 36-inch single gun case and seven 30-round D&H AR-15 magazines. Can you get this with 762 by 39 round mags? Really? This isn't Burger King. You can't have it your way. Read the blessed description. Is there Colorado compliant mags available? Yes. Resist the unconstitutional laws. I like this guy. Can you get a mix of mags? For example, four mags for 300 blackout and the rest for 556. Mm, they're the same mags. Do the mags care 223 rounds? No, they don't care if it's 223 or 556. They are not picky. Will these mags fit a 6.5 Grendel? Well, in other words, is a 6.5 bigger than a 556? Now you sit there and think about that for a minute. Wow, what a smart ass. I live in a state with a 10 round limit. Can you do any 10 round 556 300 blackout mags? Best answer, move. Is the case foam padded? Yes, it's filled with fix a flat. Okay. All right, the next product is the PSA AR-15 Complete Classic Stealth Lower. It's their basic lower, complete lower. Can this complete AR lower shipped to Arizona without an FFL? You don't pay much attention to gun laws of the 1930s, do you? Now, in truth, it's actually 1968, but still funny either way. Can this be delivered to my front door in New Mexico? Only if your front door is registered FFL. All lowers must be sent to an FFL. You can, however, have an upper sent to your front door. I like that answer. Little smart aleck and give some, some good information in the process. Next product, the PSA AKV 9mm 35 round pattern magazines for the AKVs. Confused, do I load the bullets from the top or bottom? The bottom looks like it's not open like the top. The easiest way is to slice the mag on the front, curved side, and open the right and left sides with your hands and place the 9mm bullets one on top of the other and close, just like putting peas in a pod. That is a smart ass. Will this work with a Glock? If you're asking this question, then the answer for you is yes. That is rude. Can this clip be used on a kel Sub-2000? It's not a clip. Probably my favorite question on here. Will there ever be AKVs available to insert these into? Answer for that, welcome to the waiting room. Keep asking, LOL. And last but not least, will this magazine fit in a Mauser 98? You shove it hard enough, absolutely. Okay, that absolutely sounds like something I would say. Okay, as promised, my embarrassing moment. Okay, I just turned 18 at the time. I saw this, was it a High Point Carbine, the 995, I believe? This was back before they had the skeletonized stocks. The stock was still was solid. And I wanted the gun. Went and bought it. Came with a 10-round magazine, possibly two 10-round magazines. So I'm shooting it, having a good time and everything. A few days later, I decide I want a bigger magazine for it. So I run up to the gun store. Buy a... No, I think it was a 17, 18-round Glock magazine. Bring it back home, go to put it in the gun, and it won't fit. I right, well, darn, I guess this magazine doesn't fit. So then I have to embarrassingly bring it back to the store, 
tell excuse me tell them that this is the wrong magazine for my gun and try to trade it in and i just remember the sales guy looking at me wanting to ask me if i was stupid it was hilarious it was hilarious now it wasn't at the time it was embarrassing but yeah at least these guys in this video at least they asked questions i didn't ask questions so i just assumed i knew anyway that's my story guys thanks for watching and remember, you always have to be able to laugh at yourself, too. All right, subscribe, comments, videos, all that good stuff. Thanks, everyone. Later.